Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. We've seen how the Industrial Revolution changed the shape of our modern world. We got big industries, founded the computer, and made considerable advancements in the IT sector. But of course, this revolution had its side effects as well. With a growing number of factories, more machines were deployed, which created more waste than ever before. And such waste became the basis of pollution. Industrialization led to a massive carbon footprint. Many environmental activists stood against the constantly growing pollution and demanded a solution. They wanted a computing system that would reduce the carbon footprint and help them create a better environment for the future. And their efforts bore fruit with the advent of cloud computing as things started to take a drastic turn, paving a new way for environment-friendly computing systems. Cloud-based computing systems became a massive thing after big names like Google and Microsoft announced their cloud systems and their measures for the environment. A prominent example of this is when Microsoft reduced its carbon emissions by recycling waste, implementing cloud systems instead of traditional computing, and even purchased solar and wind power plants. Microsoft has also claimed that its cloud computing is about 93% energy efficient, with 98% lower carbon emissions. And on the other side, Google has already become a carbon neutral company for more than a decade. They're still following an eco-friendly approach by using renewable energy for their entire global operations. Green cloud computing was a concept that started in 2010, where it stated that switching your IT services to the cloud would bring a considerably positive change to the environment. Now, the latest research suggests that switching to cloud computing can lessen the carbon footprint. If large corporations just switch one department to cloud, they could be saving an average of 30,000 metric tons of CO2 within five years. It equates to 6,000 fewer automobiles on the road. In today's video, we're gonna look at six ways that cloud computing can help the environment. As always, if you have any questions, or if you could think of any other ways that cloud computing can help the environment, let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. The first point on our list is that it reduces energy consumption. If you have ever seen an on-site data center, then you already know how much energy it requires to operate. It's a lot. An interrupted power supply to run the data center and a heavy cooling system for avoiding excessive heating is needed. Apart from that, the equipment soon gets old and goes straight to e-waste. And this e-waste is causing a lot of pollution. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, these data centers consume about 2% of the total energy consumption in the United States. You would be stunned to know that it almost equals 73 to 75 billion kilowatt hours. So it's massive. So what cloud computing will do is it will reduce this consumption at a significant rate. Google funded research has already laid its claim that cloud computing would cut energy use by a whopping 87%. So just imagine the amount of energy we will be saving. The amount of energy cloud computing would save would be sufficient to power the whole of Los Angeles for a year. Next on our list is that it helps with sustainable dematerialization. Cloud computing makes an outstanding contribution to sustainability via dematerialization. This process lets high carbon physical products get replaced by their virtual equivalents. When you introduce energy efficient items instead of carbon, it makes a good impact in reducing the carbon footprint. A prominent example of it is to use cloud-based video streaming services instead of going to the cinema. Migrating to cloud computing will automatically lessen the machine and hardware use that consumes more energy. And it will also help lessen the bills. You can save energy both at home and in the organization. Companies can benefit from saving by investing in other valuable projects. It also saves you from operating lots of machines and helps you maintain focus on your main task. As soon as you reduce the use of this machinery and other physical equipment, you save the colossal disposal of e-waste. You save paper by going paperless, your storage devices are replaced with cloud storage, and you can do electronic signatures and avoid printing a document. So apart from machinery, you're gonna save a lot of paper. And we all know where paper comes from, right? So by preserving paper, cloud computing would contribute to the environment by cutting less trees. 
It helps shifting to renewable energy sources. A considerable amount of cloud data centers are moving to renewable energy sources to operate. Some have already moved there. These renewable energy sources like geothermal, solar, wind, hydropower, and other ones will generate more eco-friendly electricity. Many IT companies like Agile IT have already taken the initiative by powering their headquarters with wind power. Cloud computing offers businesses a safe way to store their data and increase their working efficiency at the same time. Amazon Web Services is also a cloud provider platform working to create more renewable energy options. Amazon has already planted wind farms all around the United States that provide uninterrupted energy and works as the backbone for the current and future data centers. And of course, it helps with remote working. Organizations must acknowledge that cloud computing will only help them grow even bigger and better. It wasn't possible before, but cloud computing now lets organizations hire remote workers. These remote workers would work from anywhere, anytime, any place. They don't need to be physically present at the office. Now this could, for many people, cause productivity to increase. Also, less resources will be used at the office, ultimately putting an overall positive effect on the environment. Imagine the amount of fuel saved by a worker. There'll be less traffic on the road at office time as well, and the office wouldn't be overcrowded with a big pool of employees. So recruiting remote workers and letting them work through cloud computing will save you lots of energy and help the ecosystem. It helps increase hardware refresh speed. Typically a data center can be used for a reasonable amount of time before it needs an upgradation. And in some cases, replacement becomes necessary, which itself can cost a lot of money and time. The hardware used in the public cloud has a much higher usage than the traditional servers, which means that they wear out pretty quickly and that means that it would have a faster refresh time. It's also cost effective for public cloud servers and hardware to be updated at regular intervals so that new technology can be incorporated inside, saving more energy. And last but not least, it provides better infrastructure. Traditional public servers are located in limited areas. They don't have a choice to be located near the power supply. Facebook and Yahoo have kept their public servers limited in a few selected areas. However, public cloud data centers would be mostly seen around facilities that would help power them efficiently. It reduces the cost of electric transmission over a long distance and helps these centers use less wattage. These data centers don't heat up quickly thanks to their high quality hardware setup. They optimize energy transmission, temperature, and other factors that non-cloud servers couldn't. So there we have it. Cloud computing can prove to be a great contributor to reducing many environmental risks by reducing energy consumption, sustainable dematerialization, shifting to renewable energy sources, remote working, increased hardware refresh speed, and better infrastructure. As always, if you still have any questions or if you can think of any more examples of how cloud computing can help the environment, let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or find it interesting or helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.